Hi, so for this problem, it says here that company plans to invest X at the beginning of each month in zero coupon bond in order to accumulate 100000 at the end of six months. The price of each bond is a percentage of redemption value is given in the following chart. So calculate X given that the bond prices will not change during the six month period. So, uh, we are, so that means that at the end of six months, the what we're investing to will accumulate to 100,000 and that the price of each bond is as a percentage of the redemption value. So we need to use this following information and set up an equation to form these values in a way that it's accumulating towards 100,000 so we can find what X is equal to, right? So that means that, well, they're giving us prices, right? In a maturity of months. If I were to set this up in a present value formula, um, say that the an, uh, an effective rate existed, right? A monthly effective rate existed. If I set it to one, then this would equal a price of 99%, right? But uh, this is a form of discounting. I want to convert 99% price in a way that I could accumulate it towards 100,000, right? So what I could do is that I could uh, multiply this to one plus I, right? This would be an effective rate. This would represent some sort of accumulation. And I would also bring this to the other side by doing this, right? So an accumulation, of one month would represent one over 0.99, right? Which means that it would be the same for this one. It would be one over 0.98, one over 0.97, and so on and so forth. So if I were to invest X at the beginning, it would be X times this amount, plus X times this amount, time plus X times this amount, times this amount. So I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna um, substitute X out, and I'm just gonna form this equation of one over uh, 0.99 plus uh, one over 0.98 plus one over 0.97 plus one over 0.96 plus one over 0.95 plus one over 0.94. Over, remember, accumulation over the six month period, right? And I'm going to say equal to 100,000, right? Now I'm going to do with that. I'm going to solve for all of this, right? So it wouldn't be a problem since I'm going to use the calculator. So I'll do 1.99 plus 1 over 0.98 plus 1 over 0.97 plus 1 over 0.96 plus 1 over 0.95 plus 1 over 0.96, right? So this is going to equal to 6.219565, right? Now let's find x. I'm going to do 100,000 divided by 6.219565. I'm going to get 16,078.229, which is going to be close to the answer B.